like to another video if you are new in this channel please make sure you subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you will never miss anything that we upload in this channel so today is my voice came out to spoke about the isn't that that i play not the match of Kesa Chiefs playing against super sport united the damage ended with a one nil win for super sport united but there was a little bit of controversy in that match i cannot i cannot say little, little bit because it was a controversy castillo was out due to an injury but that injury did not lead to a yellow card or a penalty castillo was fouled inside the box by a super sport player and he didn't get a yellow card or like a free kick for Kaiser Chiefs to not a free kick, I mean a penalty kick for Kaiser Chiefs. So here's what S number said on that incident. Clarify. You know, Thomas, when two infringements are committed between two players against each other, there's one incident that takes place first and an incident that takes place next. Now, if you pick up this one, the one that happens first, at this moment, whatever happens thereafter, the, the player in, in gold and black gets to the ball first. Castillo has That's got it. It's called the, he, he, he pokes it away from the defender and what does the defender do? He kicks it. Now whatever else happens thereafter, the, the match should have stopped at this moment with the whistle going for a foul against that attacker. But what then happens is what the referee sees. He misses that moment. He's only looking at their feet right now and sees the attacker committing an offense that happens after that one, which shouldn't. That's why he quickly uh, goes for his whistle. But that there was a foul. That player was kicked. That penalty should have been given. Really? That should have been a penalty? Spot on says that should have been a penalty. There is a school of thought that says both players. So yeah guys, that's what Aston was said. As you heard, that should have been awarded as a penalty. But unfortunately for the Chiefs, they didn't get that penalty. And it's very bad. They should have won the game or at least a draw. One point that should have been something for to take home, and it was not going to be a bad thing. But right now, the Chiefs were not given the fair chance for that game because it was a penalty. That guy did not get the ball, he kicked the man. And if you get the man, that should have been our that as a penalty. and. I know some of you are going to say in the comment section, no, it's not a penalty, this and that, but as no also did himself. I won't play as much of it, but you've seen it. It's a penalty. Kela Chiefs was robbed. Nothing else. They should have thrown the game at least 1-1. One, one. Uh, they could have gained some advantage from that because I think it was still nil nil when Kela Chiefs got that penalty but it was not given to them not even a yellow like nothing they thought maybe castillo is the one who fouled the guy so yeah it's very bad for the chiefs castillo is out for six weeks now due to that injury so the man kicked the man not the ball castillo kicked the ball and then it was kicked by super sport defender and then it resulted to an injury for castillo was sent out he was out not sent out was replaced by I forgot the play. Yeah.